It's that time of year when all of the spirits companies, the boozers, the brands, the liquors, they come out with weird stuff for Christmas. And I thought, wouldn't it be fun in the spirit of things, in the spirit of the holiday, if we tasted them all to see how good they are? They're probably not very good. Let's get right into it. We'll start with Smirnoff's Peppermint Twist. It says right there. Scratch and sniff. I can't decide. You think you put this on an ice cube? Yeah, why not? It won't bother it. <laughs> Did I break my glass? It's a little aggressive, but whatever. Boop, boop, boop. So this is vodka, right? It is actually vodka, or is it not quite 100%? How much proofy? Proofy, loofy doo. Where are you at? This is 30%. So this is a vodka-based sweetened liqueur. Mmm. Here we go. Peppermint twist. Honestly, it's a fine peppermint thing. And now that, I, it's funny, as I said, here you go, peppermint twist in my brain, I was like, Greg, it's gonna be like a peppermint schnapps, which, you know, there's uses for. I think I'd actually prefer rumple, but like it's in that category compared to any other peppermint or creme de menthe, peppermint, I would say, creme de menthe, uh, it would be sweeter. Peppermint schnapps, liqueur, vodka, whatever, it's fine, you could use this. Throw a little of that in a hot chocolate and you're gonna have a very, very nice boozy hot chocolate. I don't have any hot chocolate. You can take my word for it. You don't need me to see me experiment with it. It'll be good. I feel weird about trying to shit on that now. I know that, like myself, they're like, oh boy, the Christmas beers are out. Are there people like that with the liquors? Are there people who are like, oh boy, misunderstood whiskey company's Oatnog is finally back. I better stock up for the year because that's what we're going to do now. Misunderstood whiskey's Oatnog. Oat, yes, we did. <laughs> I love bottle copy. Introducing America's original oat nog. I don't know if that's true. Made with oat milk liqueur. Wow, there's no comma. It's oat milk liqueur and misunderstood whiskey. Our whiskey and liqueur blended to perfection with sustainably sourced gluten-free oats, leaving you the deliciously smooth, dairy-free holiday treat. Enjoy, chilled. No refrigeration necessary. Yeah, no, I was about to make fun of that, but that makes sense. It's not stoneware, it's frosted glass. It's meant to feel and look like stoneware but it's actually glass. I don't like that. That seems cheesy. This is ginger spiced whiskey. So there's like a necker here. And this little tag says I should do one part to one part. Okay, so that's cool. They call that a ginger snap. So look, two for the price of one here. We get this sample. Let's grab a glass. Uh, yeah, this looks like the right glass. Why don't I mention the fact that this glass and all of the glasses on how to drink are provided by Visky Glassware. They asked if they could sponsor the show. I was very suspicious. I made him send me some glasses. I fell in love with the glasses. So now they're the official glassware provider for the show. If you like the glasses, you want to pick up glasses, hey, it's the holidays, you want to get some glassware for somebody who likes to make drinks in your life or even doesn't, check out the link in the comment below. Check out the link over here in the corner. You're going to use code HOWTODRINK15 at checkout. You'll get 15% off of any glassware that you order. That'll be nice. Great. Little, that's a little holiday treat from Visky to you that lasts all the time. Oh, look at that. There it is. And then, all right, here we go. Glug, glug, boys. This is oat nog. Oh man, that's a smell. That does not smell like anything that a grown up should drink. <laughs> that smells like the, mil the soured milk. Good, oh. Oh, come all ye merry gentlemen. Kind of looks like they did. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I still got it. There's a lot of bubble gum notes in this. I'm not a fan of that. Like, as far as like eggnogs go, this is a, one of the worst I've ever had. It's not like offensive. It's not like gag inducingly bad. It's just, no thanks. I don't want it. It's very phlegmy. It's very sticky. It has a, a, a chalkiness to it that you'll find, I think personally in the oat type nogs. I don't find it so much in almond, but oat I do. Like in oat milks in general, I get that like a little bit of chalkiness. It has like a pukey kind of note in there. Pukey and bubblegum as he pours a little more for himself. I'm not into that. Let's see how it is if I turn it into a ginger snap. I don't have a spoon, so I'll just use the neck of this guy to stir it up. Leave it in there. <laughs> Look real classy for your Christmas. Oh, that does not make it better. Oh my God. Good, oh. <laughs> lemongrass? You guys use lemongrass in that? Why? G ginger, what is this stuff? Oh, ginger spiced whiskey. How, what was the ratio I was supposed to use? Oh uh, no, I was supposed to, it's one to one. Yeah, okay, I, I was correct. I thought it was like one to two or something. I screwed up. This is disgusting. Jesus. No redeeming qualities. <laughs> Zero out of a 10. Well, we'll just go right over here. This is Jack Daniels's Winter Jack. Uh, yep, you get this guy for sure. 
Slam! Get slammed for Christmas! What even is this stuff? They call it, what do they call it? Winter Jack? Winter Jack. I love the font. Love it. Original recipe, Tennessee. Spiced apple punch. Only 15%. So, <laughs> not a lot of Jack Daniels in there. 30 proof with caramel color. A seasonal blend of apple cider liqueur and Jack Daniels Tennessee whiskey. I'm not gonna lie, like this could be fine. This could be actually pretty cool. You know, you wouldn't mix it. You would treat it as like a ready to go cocktail, uh, a bottled cocktail. Just put a little ice in there. A lot of fresh cut grass notes in there, which I would not expect, but I think that they're like aiming for and just slightly askew of apple. It's like almost good. It could be so much better. Yeah, it's just not there. You know what it is? It's, I guess it depends on your drinking experience. For me, this brightness of green apple that they're trying to punch into that is unheard of in distilled spirits, right? Like your Applejack doesn't taste like that. Anything that's actually made with apples or from apples, that doesn't taste like that. And honestly, this doesn't even really taste like pucker, which tastes like they've put a bunch of um, acid into it, such uh, malic acid. It doesn't have that kind of an acidity to it. It does have a brightness and a, and a crispness, which might be a good thing. It's just that like, it tastes like a fake thing. It tastes like a really fake thing. So automatically I'm like, well, this is bad. But again, not offensive. I'm gonna do a thing that I often do. I'm gonna put a dribble of Angostura bitters in here. I'm curious like how would a little, just a little extra spice kind of bottom this out because it's very upper register, like very trebly in my mouth, very high pitch notes. Pretty like that, right? With the float, just mix that in there. It gets a better color this way too. That makes it taste like baked apples, like apple, like the things you would do with apples in the holidays. A little closer to an apple pie or something. It also adds a little bit of bitterness to it and dries it out. Cause you know, like a lot of the spices that are in Angostura bitters are like Christmas spices. You know, it's all spice, it's cinnamon, it's clove. It's that kind of stuff. I don't know what else is in there to kind of keep it a secret. So it is kind of like turning this apple whiskey liqueur into an apple pie. And yet, because we're not doing like, you know, like there are like those apple pie, like moonshine recipes and stuff. It's not like that because those are super sweet. This is actually kind of dried out a touch because of the, it, it doesn't present as being ultra sweet. I think it's a huge improvement. Of course, I put Angostura bitters into it. You could probably count on one hand the times that I didn't think bitters improved a drink. So it's a bit of a cliche, huge improvement. Made it enormously better. So if you end up with a bottle of that for Christmas, give that a shot. I'd be curious to do both, you know, like try it both ways. I'd be really curious to know if other people are like, holy shit, that was great. That really did it. Or other people are like, Greg, you just love Angostura, you crazy bastard. So we already had this in another episode where I did, at this time of year, all these, these companies come out with their own cocktail recipes. We picked a bunch and we made them. But I'm not gonna lie, some were good, some were bad. So I, that's what I bought this for, but I didn't really try it on its own. So let's try it on its own. So, so this is rum chata. This is their peppermint bark. Is rum chata attempting to be like a bottled alcoholic horchata? I don't think they would make that claim. Obviously they're making reference to it, right? So this is peppermint bark version. I want more peppermint. I want that to be pepperminterier, but what I was talking about here, if you were to take this and put it in a hot cocoa, kind of like that, it's fine. How many proofs is this? How many proofs? Okay, so this is 14% alcohol, 28 proof, super low proof. Here's the thing. I look for the higher proof stuff. Why? because all the stuff that's not alcohol in there is what's gonna make you sick. Alcohol, of course, will make you sick. You'll get alcohol poisoning, you'll have a nasty hangover. I personally believe you could have the same total volume of ethanol in an evening, but if you acquire that ethanol through the drinking of lower proof drinks, you will probably feel shittier the next day than if you were to just drink fucking shots of vodka because it's all like the sugars and all those flavorants and all those, uh, the creams and all that stuff. That's what makes me sick anyway. Obviously, if I drink enough, I'm just gonna get sick anyway, as we all do. You know, believe it or not, it's like twice that the show has kind of made me ill, and maybe three times. I've been doing a lot, I've done a lot of episodes. I don't know, we're over 500? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. So far, the one that was bad was this oat milk shit. Oh, misunderstood, misunderstood, oat nog. No, we understood you. You are not a, you're not a wounded puppy who's just misunderstood and needs someone to save you in a, Christmas special. You don't need to go down to that Hallmark town and find yourself. No, you just suck. You just suck. <laughs> Did we do the Evan Williams Spice Cider yet? Nope, let's do that. Uh, I'm gonna use a different glass. I really like this glass, but it's definitely for something either with a very small ice cube in it or like, to be poured neat. So we're gonna use something I can actually fit my ice cubes in. I, I grabbed all this glass for thinking I wanted to do just neat pours, but apparently I changed my mind. How are you supposed to drink this? Uh, served warm, oh shit, or chilled over ice. 
spice cider is a delicious treat ready to serve for the fall season. Seasonal blend of apple cider liqueur, Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey, 17% ABV. Uh, here we go with that seasonal blend. I wonder if this was left over from fall, actually. It's definitely Christmassy. It was on the Christmas rack. Whoa, man, that's got a powerful cinnamon smell. I was like that cinnamon broom that you find at like Home Goods or TJ Maxx that your wife drags you into. One of those places, that's got big fake cinnamon. That's uh, the shop in front of, that's the Cracker Barrel store. Very sweet, totally syrup, not into that. Ugh, bubble gum notes again. And then fakes like red hot cinnamon, like little red hot candies, that's what you get at the end there. But not like hot hot, but just like that kind of specific flavor of cinnamon. <laughs> Syrup. Absolutely just drinking syrup. <laughs> oh man. All right, red, white, and Mary, let's keep this fucking thing going on. Hello, baby. Here we go. This one is from Smirnoff. I also bought this for that episode with the uh, cocktail. I didn't notice how pinkish red that is. I don't know about this bottle because I didn't try the bottle, but the drink that it made was the best drink of that episode. It was their holiday Cosmo, and it was actually like good. <laughs> Okay, wow, I hate that smell so much and I can't believe that a halfway decent drink came out of it. That is like wild berry anything, like wild berry Slurpee, wild berry, anything flavored wild berry, which is not a real flavor. Wild berry zinger from Celestial Seasonings, the tea, that's the smell. Oh, oh man, <laughs> wow, that, that is a testament to the power of mixology because the drink was good. The cocktail from that other episode was fine. Yeah, hoo hoo, man. Ugh. That is like Dimatap. That is cough syrup, Robitussin. Ugh. Not a lot of things turn me into Donald Duck. That, oh, that's so bad. Why, why did you even put it? You started with vodka. You added some natural flavors, so, you know, essential oils, basically, certified colors. You only lost 10% because this is 30% ABV. So, what the fuck? They added 10% to it, and it's a bad 10%. Definitely sugar. You can just tell by the way it's clinging to the glass. It doesn't read as ultra sweet just because, like, it's overpowered with garbage. That is a trash heap of a, of a drink. No! <laughs> oh my God! I have to check sometimes, like maybe that first response was just like, oh, you were surprised. Try it now, bracing for it. No, <laughs> that's gonna do that to me every time. That is bad. We're learning things today on the old drinky show. Let's try Evan Williams eggnog. I've had this before a long time ago. We did some kind of an eggnog shootout. I don't remember anything about this specifically. It belongs in this episode though, because it's an alcoholic holiday offering. Ah, uh, here we go. Noggy, noggy, new. Glow, that's thick. Man, oat milk. Misunderstood oat nog. You are put to shame by Mr. Evan Williams. That is thick. Made with Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey, blended whiskey, rum, and brandy. Oh, yes, they're fucking doing it right now. Wait a minute now, Evan Williams. Uh, ready to serve, chill, enjoy, rich and smooth. Is it non-dairy or is it dairy somehow? Shake well. Does contain milk and egg. Artificial colors. FDNC yellow five. Was the yellow five? One of them just got recently like highly regulated, and it's crazy. Cause it was like a friend was like, oh, we figured out why your kid was acting so weird. It's this particular food dye. Any food with it, it makes the kid crazy. And we were like, that's fucking crazy. That's nuts. That's some crunchy granola bullshit. And then like three weeks later, we read in an article that they were banning or highly regulating that particular food coloring for that exact reason. So, okay, they win. I wonder if it was yellow five. I think it was. So don't give this to your kids, you know. Yeah, uh, that yellow number five will mess them up. The alcohol is fine. Oh, they threw like a fake nutmeg vibe in there. I hate that. Just let me put my own nutmeg on. The fake nutmeg is awful. And now I'm having a memory of saying that exact same thing previously. Other than that, this is actually not a bad nog as far as like an alcoholic eggnog and being readily prepared. I know that in the episode in which I like, I think I, I don't know if I compared it to my own eggnog or when I compared it to like all of the other eggnogs that were on the market. I don't know where this came out. But on the whole, right now, on its own, this isn't that bad. I just wish they hadn't done the fake nutmeg thing. It does smell kind of rancid or something, I don't know. But in the mouth, it's okay. It doesn't have that chalky thing that the oat nog did. It's smooth, it's creamy, it's everything you kind of want eggnog to be. I do just wish that they hadn't put that one note, that one note, that fake nutmeg in there. Otherwise, it's good, it's fine. And I don't know what they're using for those other spirits. You know, Evan Williams is part of a big distribution or producing network, so they have access to a lot of stuff. But it's cool that they are. You know, cause like they're a whiskey brand, so they, they don't necessarily have to, but like those are things you'd love to see in an eggnog. Yeah, it's okay. It's not great. It's okay. If you really wanted to buy a bottled 
pre-made alcoholic eggnog. I don't think you can go, this isn't too bad. Like you're way better making your own, but this isn't too bad. What is that one note though? Is this something else that I'm having a hard time placing and it is gross. I know you're, you're thinking, Greg, you just said it wasn't that bad, but that it's gross. I'm talking really short tasting now, brief. It's that gone, it's very fast. That's why I can't place it. It's a lightning bolt that runs through this drink. It's so quick. I don't think most people would even pick up on it. Yeah, not the worst. The only other thing to taste, and I don't know if it's a Christmas thing, I don't know, it might be, is this Jameson cold brew. I bought it because another of the cocktails for the Christmas episode called for it, but we didn't shoot it. It didn't make it into the episode. It does say limited edition. It is out right now. I have a feeling this is kind of a Christmas bottle. So let's round this episode out and give it a shot. If it's not, who cares? <laughs> Damn it, that wasn't a Christmas thing, Greg. I can never watch this show again. I, you'd be surprised. I'm sure there are people who would say that. Gluggity, gluggity, gloop. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Let's see how this one is. So this is Jameson's cold brew coffee liqueur. Oh, it smells like coffee and a little bit of that doctor's office smell and that stuff. Notes of toasted oak and dark chocolate. Sure, 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 sure. So you say. Oh, wow. I don't know if it's just because I had just had a mouthful of eggnog, but I friggin' hate that at the moment. Hold on. It probably is the eggnog. That's a weird, that's a big shift. You know what? I'm reserving my, I'm not giving any notes on this because I'll give him, but I'm gonna tell you that they're wrong. I'm coming off the back of eggnog and what this tastes like is fish. And there's no way it actually tastes like fish. <laughs> it's not what the eggnog is doing to my palate. Uh, so disregard my fish note, but I guess be aware that if you happen to be drinking Evan Williams eggnog and think, you know what I wanna chase that with, don't do it. Don't reach for Jameson's cold brew. It's a bad pairing, uh, which is funny because I almost thought about combining them, you know, <laughs> like making, using the eggnog as like a milk and a coffee. Yeah, sure, let's do that. A little bit more, because now I'm wondering if that changes the whole thing, because it's a little bit different to have it like be a note that's just like kind of hanging out in your mouth and have that affect your flavor profile or something than it is to have it be when you mix, it's a different thing. So like, this is like if you were adding cream to your coffee. No, <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> mm, bad, dude. For it, wow. One more. Uh, so this is, this is Crown Royals Salted Caramel. Ooh, look at the dice bag they gave us today. This golden dice bag with the, uh, the, the I wanna call that, my brain is calling that a Christmas leaf, which you can see it, right? <laughs> I have a proper noun, aphasia. Snowflake, a snowflake. When I was at the liquor store, I was like, sir. He's like, can you help, can I help you? And usually I just say, no, not really. And sometimes I'm, I haven't, you know, sir, find me all of your Christmas crap. I got you, anything with snowflake on it. I gave him a Southern accent. Why? I don't know. Uh, let's try this row, crown roll, salt to caramel. Oh, you know what? We can put an ice cube on that. It's kind of cool. It's like sitting in a bowl. The ice cube kind of protrudes above the top there. Oh, ye merry gentlemen. Good King Wenzel's lock. Wow. I'm gathering some fuel. I don't recall any words of this song from Christmas of ages, thousand years ago. Give my little QB a spiral. Here we go. It smells like the, the butter shots, butter schnapps liqueur, butter, butterscotch liqueur or whatever. Wow. Oh, I hate that. Wow, I hate that. Oh man. They have some of the most offensive flavored liqueurs and, and whiskeys I've ever tasted. And this one's right up there. True to form. That is so overpoweringly faked, <laughs> fake flavored. Jesus. It's just too much. It's just too much. What would you even do with that? You know, it's 35%. It's only 5% away from a full spirit. Are you just supposed to drink that neat? Like you probably are. Cause like, I don't know how else you can mix that. Maybe you could add it to something. You could, like spike your coffee with it. That's about it. You could do that. You could spike a coffee with it, but like you can't mix drinks with that shit. You know, like, you know what I mean? Like you really kind of can't cause it's, it's crazy and super sweet, super sweet. And it's super flavored. So like, I don't know. I guess you could dump some in your coffee. You could dump some into a hot chocolate. Maybe that's the only utility purpose for that. Utility purpose. <laughs> you certainly don't want to do this. You don't want to put it on an ice cube and drink it. It's brutal. It's truly bad. Well, 
I hope you're having a wonderful holiday time when you watch this. I hope that you are happy, healthy, safe, and warm, and that you're avoiding the bad ones and picking up the good ones. What was good here? I don't remember. Uh, you know what? Honestly, the rum chata peppermint bark had its merits. Evan Williams eggnog had its merits. And actually, the Smirnoff peppermint twist had its merits. The rest of them were not good. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me and spending this time with me. And I hope I will see you soon in another episode of Out of Drink. In the meantime, here are more episodes of the show that you may have missed because I'm making it for forever. See you guys soon in another one. Good night, goodbye, and good luck.